What you guys got another video here for you this one's been requested quite a few times and uh, it's on how to fix uh, corrupt Windows 10 system files and how to go about fixing those without formatting or reinstalling your system now sometimes it's not possible to fix Windows and you will have to reinstall but I'm going to show you some steps you can take uh, before you get to that process so you might be able to save salvage uh, your installation and no one likes to reinstall because it means you have to reinstall all your applications and stuff like that and it is a bit of a tiresome job so let's go about uh, doing this uh, first off I just want to mention uh, a couple of things to make sure that you've got uh, checked which is make sure that you've got a backup of all your data that's really really important you don't want to continue with this without backing up your data two Make sure that you've got no malware on the system. If you have got malware, then doing this is not really going to help you. It's just going to try to uh, fix issues that malware has created, but the malware will still be left on the system. And uh, three, which is really important also, is make sure that you don't have any hardware issues, i.e. failing hard drives or something like that, which is creating the error messages that you may be seeing on the screen or blue screen of death or error messages and stuff like that because if you have got failing hardware and you start to follow these processes then what's going to happen is you can end up uh, losing your data so you don't want to do that either so make sure you've checked all those things first so if you know the hard drive's good and everything else is good and it is a windows corruption uh, then i'll show you some steps that you can take to fix it so it's going to be a bit of a lengthy video but we'll go ahead and, and start off here I try and keep it as basic as uh, possible so not to uh, over confuse people okay to start off here if you need to get into safe mode to do all this I'll show you how to go about doing it now you can type MS config in the search box here and what this is going to do is allow you to open up the system configuration tool and uh, then put in your boot options here and put safe boot and boot to network if you want to do networking so you get access to the internet now if you don't can't get to the desktop and you're getting an error message for windows corruption or something like that then you can try to reboot the system three times and it will automatically give you the option to go into safe mode you'll be able to go into there by recovery okay so let's start off with the first one we're going to go into cmd here and type cmd and then right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator say yes to the user account control here and you should see administrator colon command prompt this is where we're going to type our first command okay so we're going to put in here check disk chk dsk space forward slash f space forward slash r and then space forward slash uh, x this is going to dismount the drive and then push enter and you sometimes get this error, uh, this message coming up here which says uh, check this cannot run because of the volume is in use just say Y for yes and then reboot the system and it will then automatically do uh, that check disk for us now this can take a very long time so be patient okay do not run all this stuff if you've got issues with your hardware as I've mentioned already otherwise you're going to end up with problems so you can see here it says push uh, any key to skip this method that we don't want to do that so just leave it don't touch the keyboard and let that scanning process start and you can see this will take a considerable amount of time so let this finish and this then hopefully uh, resolves a lot of your issues if not we're going to move on to the next bit after this so don't worry so just leave it alone it could take an hour or so to finish this uh, task okay so what we're going to do is speed this process up and move on to the next step assuming that's all completed now so next off what you want to do here is open up your command prompt again and we're going to run SFC scan now now again if you can't get to the desktop I'll show you at the end of the video on the command you'll need to run to run SFC scan now from uh, an environment which is offline okay so first off open up your command prompt run this as administrator again and then say yes to the user account control here and inside here we want to type sfc space forward slash scan now now you can also do this in safe mode as well so again if you want to get into safe mode you can do leave this to run again this will take a bit of time to verify uh, all the files to make sure they're okay and it will start to replace those files if it can uh, via the update method so just let that run 
and uh, it as again it will take a bit of time so be patient there so I'll speed this process up and you can see here it's verified them files and says it's 100% complete and I have got no violations on this system if you have got a violation on here uh, you can open up the system log for there so you can see the SFC logs file which we're going to create on our desktop so just put this big command in and it will uh, push enter and it will put that onto the desktop for you and uh, you can then view that log file to view the error messages now I've got no errors on here but if you have got errors they will be listed inside here and it gives you an idea where the error is and where to uh, look okay so just scroll through here and you can see all the checks that it's done and it's repaired all those files and completed them okay so if you have got an error message it will be listed there and you can post that on a forum somewhere and get some help um, even on my forum and we'll try and help you best we can here so let's move on to the next step now you can run uh, SFC scan now about three times to try to fix the issue so if it doesn't work the first time then give it another scan and try again until it tries to fix and resolve those problems okay so it can take up to three times to try and resolve those now once we've got uh, that scan done we can then move on to the next step now what we want to do here again is open up our command prompt here and what this is going to do is try to repair the image here so we're going to just click yes to the user cam control open up another administrator command prompt and you want to type in uh, this command here dism and uh, you want to do space forward slash and then you want to type in here online space forward slash cleanup dash image and then space forward slash and then restore health just as I've put there okay then push enter and this will then run okay now this is going to take again a fair bit of time to run and it will store try to restore that image I've speeded that process up but it will take a fair bit of time and hopefully this does resolve your issue and if you've uh, fixed your issue then you're pretty much good to go now you can also run SFC scan there after this to check again to make sure that issues been resolved and gone away if it has then you've resolved your issue and uh, fixed any windows corruption that you may have had now if that still doesn't work then I'll show you how to get into uh, the offline mode here so you can push windows I key to get into the settings or you can push start and settings here come down to the bottom where it says update and security then you want to come down on the left hand side to where it says recovery push that and then you can see here advanced startup on the right hand side where it says restart and you want to do this uh, with the disk drive in okay or a USB flash drive in your computer plug it in a Windows uh, 10 version plugged into the computer and it will use those files and try to replace those files via that method if the other methods haven't worked so if this first method doesn't work you can try this so go into troubleshoot here and you can see here so make sure you've got your Windows 10 USB flash drive or CD plug, plugged into your drive or the computer and then you can come into here where it says command prompt you want to go into there now because we're using SFC scan now command outside of Windows we need to tell the utility where our Windows installation files are and you can use that command down below or you can just change the directory to your D drive which is normally where your Windows files are and then type the next command in and then once you've done that you can put in the next command which is your SFC space forward slash scan now space forward slash off boot dir equals c colon backslash space forward slash off win dir equals d colon backslash windows and once you've typed that out exactly as it is there this will then start to run the SFC scan now uh, when you're not inside windows okay and this will help to try and resolve any issues with your windows files so if you've got windows corrupt files this will replace them and start to fix them okay uh, using the Windows CD which you've got plugged into your computer now again this is a bit of a lengthy process and you just need to be patient when you're trying to resolve issues you may want to just uh, reinstall Windows what a lot of people do 
but as a PC repair tech, it's always handy to know how to resolve issues without just trying to format, because you have to then put all the Windows programs back on, and it's a bit of a, a bit of a pain really. So just try to be a bit patient and try to resolve these issues and let this run, okay? It will take a bit of time. Now also replacing Windows files outside like this you can do it as well by replacing those files using your windows disk it will replace those files that are corrupt you can do that also that's more of an advanced level and i'll maybe covering that in a video again if you want to but once we get back into our troubleshooting area another option you can try is system restore and you can try startup repair as well. So try system restore. Now, if you haven't got system restore enabled, it won't be able to use system restore points. So I'd advise you to enable system restore. It's always a good little safety net to revert back to if you've got issues just like we was talking about. Now, again, you can replace corrupt Windows files, but that's more advanced and I'll leave that into another video. But again, if this is your last ditched hope and system restore doesn't work and you've tried everything else, then you'll need to go into troubleshoot and reset this PC. Now, the two options you're gonna get here is keep my files and remove all the applications on that operating system and all my settings, but keep your personal files. Then what this is gonna do is basically reinstall Windows, but keep all your data. Another way is to remove everything. This removes Windows, all your documents and data, and basically apps and settings and reinstalls Windows. So depending on which way you wanna go, uh, you can use one of these methods here, okay? And this is probably your last ditched hope if you can't repair it and you're having still problems with uh, blue screens or corrupt files and stuff like that and you know it's not uh, hardware related then that is the last ditched hope for you I'm afraid anyway I hope this one helps you out guys hope this one uh, resolves all your issues if it doesn't then you can always head over to our forums and post up over there I'll try my best to help you out over there the best I can now, of course, you can reinstall Windows using your USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it, or you can reinstall Windows using the create, uh, Creative Media tool, or you can use your Windows 10 CD. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here, click on the red subscribe button, and also What's really important is hit that bell notification button and this will notify you when I upload new videos.